Hey everybody, Dr. Kaylin here with FitPT. I'm going to take you through a very important movement and exercise and it's a squat. All right, so we see these come up a lot in everyday activities as well as exercise and fitness routines and it's important that you do it correctly. All right, many different versions of a squat, but I'm gonna take you through a very basic, simplistic form that will carry through um, and be appropriate for you in many different scenarios, all right? So this is not the end all be all, but it is one that you can apply to many things. Now, we're gonna talk about the inclusion of breath and core and pelvic floor and form and body positioning, so known as body mechanics. So what I'm gonna have you do, if you wanna copycat with me, is go ahead and turn sideways. I'm gonna place my hands at my hips so you can see my body. And basically what I'm gonna have you do is first start with lining up your feet. I really suggest about hip width apart. Now notice my hips are here. If I draw laser pointers down, this is not hip width apart, okay? Because my hips are wider. So make sure you create a little bit of space and then also recognize this is also not hip width apart. This is wider than my hips. Okay, so wiggle walk those feet in, so about laser pointer down, hip width, and then make sure you're orienting your feet correctly. We don't want our toes flared out too much, and we also don't want them flared in. So try and go hip width apart and toes pointed relatively forward. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways towards you. So you've got that positioning. Hands are gonna be at the hips for reference, now, as you sink down into your squat, I really like to imagine somebody is karate chopping my hips and that's making me sink backwards, okay? So again, watch this here. I'm sinking at my hips, I'm moving at my hips, someone karate chops my hips and I come straight back, all right? So one of the things that I see commonly done wrong is people send their knees over their toes and now notice this is more of like a ballerina plie or squat. It's more upright in the chest and we don't necessarily want that. That's a lot of stress and strain on the quads and overuse and strain at the knees. So we actually want to share more of, yes, we're going to bend at our knees, but we're also going to bend at our hips. So notice there's more of a zigzag posture in my squat position here in my legs. Okay. Now notice what my chest did as I came forward. I'm going to move my hands out of the way. So as I came down, my chest came forward. It's really common cue in the fitness world for people to say chest up, chest up, but notice what I just did, arched my back. Okay. And even just if you feel as I'm squatting with my chest up, I'm really losing my core connection. I'm feeling a lot of strain in my low back. And so those are things to consider, especially if you're gonna up the weight. So I suggest putting one hand on your belly, one hand on your low back space. Feel how, where this is oriented and feel how it is when you're standing like so. And then as you karate chop and bend your hips down, don't change this position. Think about a plank position, just like a plank, like an exercise plank or just plank like a board and you stay in your plank as you come forward. So as your hips come down, your chest has to lean forward. Again, I'll move my arms out of the way. Notice what this looks like. Now in an ideal, way, in an ideal world, if I'm a perfect person squatting a perfect way, my shins should be parallel to my upper body, my torso when I squat. Now I'm not a perfect person and I don't have perfect squats. So just keep that in mind if that does help you from a reference standpoint. Ideally, mechanically, that's what should happen is shin should be parallel to your trunk and your torso. Okay, so this is the movement. This is how we set ourselves up for success. Now let's talk about breath. So ideally, there's different ways to breathe during a squat. I would suggest for you breathing in as you come down Breathing out during the hard part when you stand up, okay? Breathing in, breathing out. Especially if you're a breath holder, like I tend to be a breath holder when I'm really stressed or I'm really exerting and focusing on something. Practice this pattern, inhale down, 
exhale up. Now the other thing to consider is what your core is doing. All right, I want you to put your hands on your belly, put your hands on your back. Pull your navel in, like you're just giving yourself a gentle hug. It's not a squeeze, it's not a, a gripping sensation, but it's just, hey, I'm wearing a tight pair of pants and we're taking a picture and I'm gonna pull my belly in a little bit. Yeah, that's a, that always gets everybody. All right, so keep that hugged in, sink into your squat, and then keep hugging it in. Don't let it change. Another way to think about it is pull your belly up away from your thighs, okay? In the video, I want you to notice the difference between this, see where my belly is in here in space, and then this, okay? Again, core is turned off and totally out to lunge. Core is turned on. I'm still talking, I'm still breathing, nothing's changed besides my activation of my core. So in an ideal situation, we should be inhaling from our rib cage up top. So we can keep our belly pulled in, we inhale, Exhale. So there's a little bit more engagement of the core on your, on your exhale, but it's not absent on the inhale. All right, inhale. Notice belly still pulled in. Exhale. Just engages a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going through this pretty fast, so you may have to stop and practice this a little bit more than what I'm doing. Just know that these are some, some keys into proper squat form. Now, lastly, I want to talk about glutes, okay? I told you I'd keep it basic, so I'm, I'm going to try to stick with the foundations. So as we come down, at the bottom here, it's usually pretty darn easy to feel the front of the quads and thighs, but do you feel the base of your seat? Call the bottom of your butt cheeks, your glute max. If you do not feel any energy on the back side, you need to fix that. All right, so how do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. One, getting your core involved will help. Positioning will help, making your hips aren't underneath yourself, making sure they're getting back behind you. And then the other cue that's really helpful for people to practice is this idea of pushing down into the ground through your heels to stand back up, okay? So I come to the bottom, I exhale, I'm holding, I'm pressing down into those heels, I feel my glutes engaged. Back up, inhale, exhale. So I'm letting my glutes help. In an ideal world, a squat or a lunge should have 60% of the effort here in the quads and about 40% of the effort from the glutes on the back end. That includes stairs, standing up from a chair, um, all sorts of different squats that you will find in your day, everyday life should be that 60-40 ratio. And most of us favor our quads so much that very little happens in the glutes, excuse me. And really we should be placing some more emphasis and focus on glute action, core action when we're squatting so that we can be successful. All right, you guys, that is your foundation introduction to squatting. I hope you find that helpful. As you can see, there's many tiers, many layers, and I could probably even do a whole nother hour video on this, um, the different options and varieties of squats. But I hope that this is a good foundation video. It's getting you started. It's reminding you of some of the, the cues and the form. Um, so thanks for joining us here at FitPT. I hope that you find some of our other YouTube videos helpful and you stay tuned and subscribe.